I'm not a cop, but when your best friend goes missing, you can't just sit around and do nothing. Peter was the best dang detective this city had to offer. He disappeared while he was out working a big case, the only case in his 15-year career that he hadn't closed, a bank heist. $10 million. I knew that it had something to do with his vanishing, and I figured that if I could find the thief, maybe I'd find some answers about what happened to my friend. Harry was Peter's suspect number one from the get-go, a real low-life scumbag who had been in and out of institutions his entire life. Hey, uh, Harry? What's it to you? I was wondering if I could ask you about the Lexington robbery case. <laughs> yeah, you can ask my lawyers. Look, man, I'm not a cop. I just, I just want to know what happened to the money. You're asking the wrong guy, bud. I told you all six months ago. I had nothing to do with it. It's not even my style. I lost my job. You think if I had ten million dollars, I'd be living out here on the streets? No, I'd be chilling in Mexico, sipping on my ties. Now leave me alone. The kid had a point. If he was worth ten million, he'd have spent it on something by now. I decided to change directions and get in touch with Peter's old partner. Pretty been looking through some of Peter's old case files. Just trying to wrap my head around the whole thing. Some just doesn't add up. Yeah, I hear you. Unfortunately, I don't have too much to share. We weren't working together on the Lexington case. He insisted on doing it alone. You guys do that a lot? Split up on cases? Never. This is the first time. I was really obsessed with this one for some reason. I've never seen like it before. Hmm. All right, well, I got to be in court in like an hour, so yeah. um, I will you think talk to you later. Go. Okay. Hit up his sister, all right? She, uh, she spent a lot of time with him. She might be able to help you out. All right. So how you doing, Amy? I'm good. Uh, listen, I wanted to talk to you about Peter today. I was talking with Detective O'Brien earlier, and he told me that Peter was acting a little strange leading up to his disappearance. I was wondering if you noticed anything. No, it was just Pete being Pete. So he didn't tell you anything about the Lexington robbery case, or where he thought the money was? Nothing at all? No, he didn't tell me. Can I make you some coffee? I'm good. Thank you. This is a nice place, though. Look like you're doing pretty good for yourself. That's okay. Uh, listen, I hate to do this, but I forgot my wallet. Can I borrow some change for the cab ride home? Sure. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Amy. The further I dug into this thing, the further I was from the truth. What a change for Peter. Why did he work alone, and why did nobody seem to know anything about the case? Suddenly it hit me. Of course. The answer had been there, staring me in the face the entire time. Where is he? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I don't got time for this. I want to know where he is. Bravo, bravo. You know, I always knew you'd make a great detective. Why'd you do it, Peter? For $10 million, why did you do it? Well, you just answered your own question there, pal. $10 million. You know the detective life? Chasing lowlifes around the city? Day and night for what? To live like dirt. Yeah, no thank you. Well, you know what? You and your sister are under arrest, all right? <gasps> <laughs> How are you gonna do that? Come on, get out of here. See you never, Mr. Detective. Meet you in the car. Put the gun down, hands on your head. Right to remain silent. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I know my rights. You already lost. My sister's on her way to the airport. No, she ain't! Glad we could all make it.
that spoke. You know, I am looking for a new detective. This life ain't for me, man. But I do know someone looking for a job. Let's go. Come in. It's a nice place. It suits you. Not bad, right? What's this? Something I was hoping I could get your help with. A friend of mine was murdered. They suspect some low life. Joshua Costia. I don't really trust the feds, and I could think of no one better than you to work on the case. I was hoping you could do it for me, as a favor. Sure, I'll look into it. I know you would. Mm -hmm.